Hey guys and welcome back to another video here with Angel Bee Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do today is I am going to show you how to make these money cards. Um, it's basically like um, a card. So what I did is I did a graduation card, a congrats graduation card, and then I added the money holder down here at the bottom and I put mine on cardstock so that the back of it does look pretty and I basically tried to keep like a school color theme like the you know the gold with the blue um so today I will be showing you how I designed this image in Canva cut it with my Cricut and put everything together as, as well as adding this down to the bottom so if you would like to learn how to make this money card, go ahead or something similar, go ahead and stick around. All right, guys, so I am going to go ahead and start off in Canva Pro and I'm going to show you how I designed this image for us to cut. All right, so I want to start off by saying that that the dimensions for this size is four by six. Um, it's four by six inches. So if you're on your Canva home screen, you're going to go to create a design custom to a uh, custom size and then you're just going to type in four by six inches okay that's the size that i'm using today you can use whatever you want if you want to use something smaller if you want to use something rounded whatever you want to do it's definitely up to you this is just what i'm doing is four by six okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a blank page so that i can go ahead and design this with you guys um i'm going to start off with my background and what i did was i went up to elements and I got this gradient right here. And then what I did was I'm going to go ahead and turn it around to 90 degrees and I'm going to put it up at the top and then I'm going to change it to yellow. OK, then what I did was I got this little element right here, which is in Canva Pro. It's right here. It is a Canva Pro feature. It's a glitter gold glitter light effect so if you would like to look for this go ahead and type this into your search bar and you should be able to find it glitter gold glitter light effect in canva pro okay so i'm going to go ahead and add that to my canvas down here at the bottom and i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to add one up at the top as well okay so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add in our text, which is above the above the beyond script, which I do believe this is this may be a purchase font. So I'm going to go get a text box. I'm going to select this top one and then I am just going to find. Yes. Yeah, so this is an uploaded font. So I did get this from creative. I actually got this one from creativemarket.com. And I'm going to change the font to above the script. That's what I'm using. And I'm going to type in the word congrats. Okay. Then I'm going to make it bigger. And then I just kind of angled it to the side a little bit like that. And let's make it a little bit smaller so that it fits. And then what I did was I went ahead and I added a drop shadow to this in the color blue. So we're going to go, we're going to make sure we, our text is selected. We're going to select effects and then we're going to go to shadow. And then we're going to go to our color swatch. And then I did select this color blue here, but I didn't particularly like that one. So I selected the color blue and then I went up here to add a new color, which is the plus sign. And then I just kind of played around with it until I found the blue that I wanted because the back of my card is going, I'm putting it on a kind of like dark blue, shiny cardstock. So I kind of want this blue to match that blue. Okay. And then I'm just going to blur it out a little bit and make the transparency a little bit more. So it just looks like a drop, like a bluish drop shadow effect. Okay. Nothing too serious. Okay, then what I did was I added in this lady here, which for me, because I don't know any graduates right now, I went into photos and I just use, I just typed in the word graduate. But if you have, if you're making this card for somebody and you have a graduation picture that you would like to use, 
um, you can just go ahead and upload it and you can use the image, okay? So for the sake of time, I'm not going to try to sit here and search for the exact person I used. What I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate her and bring her down. Okay, so this, let's just say I uploaded her from my uploads and I clicked on her and now she's here. Okay, if you have a background and you have Canva Pro, you want to go ahead and remove the background so that we get a nice clean image here like this. And then what I'm going to do, so I want this kind of glitter effect to be on top of her. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure that the girl is selected. I'm going to go up here to position and I'm going to hit backward and then backward again. And I'm gonna hit it until she is underneath it, but I don't particularly want congrats to be on top. I want congrats to be behind her. So I'm gonna push congrats backwards and I'm actually gonna position this to the back. Nope, let's bring it forward. Okay, and then congrats backward one more. Okay, so now there we go. So we have, um, the glitter and congrats behind her head, but in front of this one like that, okay? And to do that again, you're just going to go up to position and you're going to select each element and you're going to position it either forward or backward until you get it where you want it, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do now, I know that my money, um, my, my little money slot is gonna go right here. So I'm not gonna put anything else right here. I'm gonna leave it just like that, okay? And I'm not gonna put any template there because I just want it to be nice and, and clear so that because it is clear, you can see through it. So I want you to be able to see the back of the card when I put the little clear money slot right here. So I'm just gonna leave it just like that, okay? So the next thing I did was I just added text. I just got a text box. Um, and I use the font Montserrat Classic. Is that the one I use? Let's see. Yep, Montserrat Classic. I hope I'm saying that right. But it is a Canva font, okay? So I just got some text and I typed out um, your hard work paid off. We are so proud of you. Good luck on your future endeavors. And then I added a drop shadow to both of them, okay? So if you click on the text box, go up to effects, and then you select shadow, and I added a black drop shadow to both of them, okay? That was all I did to get this image. Super easy, super simple. Um, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to download this. I actually did already download it, but that's how you would download it, okay? So how I do it is I go ahead, I download it, I get it down here to my download bar, I minimize my screen a little bit, and then I just drag and drop it onto my desktop. So then I'll, I'll go ahead and open up Cricut, and when I open up Cricut, I go to my uploads, upload image, browse, and then I go to my desktop folder, and it's right here because I just drag and dropped it onto my desktop, okay? But I do already have this on my computer. So here is the image here. When I first initially brought it in, it was too big. So I just had to resize it to four by six, which is fine, okay? So you're gonna go ahead over to make it once you have the size that you want. We're not gonna mirror this. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And then I am going to print this um, with a regular inkjet printer. I'm gonna go ahead and get my materials and then I'm going to show you the paper that I printed it on. I'm also going to show you the card stock and I'm also gonna show you how to get the, the image and the, um, the card stock to cut the same size. We're gonna put them together and then we're gonna cut with our Cricut. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and get my materials and then I'm going to show you how I did that. All right, guys, so I have my image printed out here. Um, and let me quickly show you the sticker paper that I use. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite brands of sticker paper because I don't sell my crafts. Um, so in regards to, you know, it being just for me, this is probably my one of my favorite. They have this in um, matte and glossy. 
I, for today's project, I did use the matte version of it, but this is the name of the brand. And I will link it down below as well. I did get it from Amazon. But it is um, water resistant. It's a water resistant permanent sticker. Okay, permanent sticker sheet. So that's, that's what I use today for my sticker paper, which is here. And they print it out nice and vibrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off some of this excess here. Just because it's easier to work with. Okay, and this is the cardstock that I'm going to be using. It's kind of like a little shiny blue um, because I went with the golden blue colors, okay, which are common school colors. But um, yeah, this is going to be the back of the card, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to just peel the backing to the sticker paper off. If I can get it off. Oh, I can't get my backing off of my sticker paper. Let's try it. There we go. Okay, and I'm just peeling the backing off of my quote unquote sticker. And then what I'm going to do is just place it onto the cardstock. That's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect because it, the machine is going to go ahead and cut us out a perfect square anyway. Okay, so now my sticker is on my cardstock. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place this on, actually I need a strong grip map. I'm going to place this on my strong grip map. Okay, and then I am going to go ahead and cut this on cardstock with uh, more pressure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cut out and I will come back and we will put the little money holder onto it. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I'm back here and I do have my card cut out. This is so cute. I really, really love it. Um, and it is nice and, you know, pliable um, since I put it on this card stock. Um, but I just want y'all to know what I had to go through to find one of these, okay? Um, I, apparently these little cars, they're very popular right now. So trying to find these, like just a pack of these is really hard. The last I checked before recording this video, Amazon was sold out. And there was a lot of Michaels locations that were sold out. And I, I think Michaels online had some, but you had to get it shipped to your house. So you had to wait for shipping. Okay. But I originally saw this. Um, I originally saw Jay Stewart do this. And I was like, oh, that's cute. I want to try it. And then I went on Amazon to try to purchase these and they were completely sold out. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm not going to be doing that craft. Um, but then I saw... Mr. Crafty Pants video where basically what he did is he used he recycled one of these off of a chapstick. OK, so that's what I did. I got two of these little Vaseline um, chapsticks from Family Dollar and then I just popped this off the front of it. And then I used some Lysol wipes to get all of the. Um, the color off the side here okay so that's how I got my hands on one of these but again if you are trying to do more than one of these like if you just have a graduate in your family and you just want to make them one of these cards this will work but if you're trying to make and sell these like in bulk or in large quantity then this method is probably not going to be the most cost efficient or anything like that so you may want to look on Michaels online 
okay but that's how I got one to do this video so I can show you guys and people from my Facebook group how to do it okay so what I'm gonna do is like I said I have it all cut out here so now what I'm gonna do this is just going to go right down here like this and I don't even have y'all I don't even have my hot glue gun warming up matter of fact I don't even know where my hot glue gun is do I know where my hot glue gun is oh my goodness here it is I found it look it was right there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in really quickly so we can get it warmed up and ready for us I'm going to use hot glue to um, um, adhere it to the card. Um, okay, but I was in Hobby Lobby and I found some of these little cute little graduation stickers. It was $4.99 for all of them, so I just picked up a pack. I thought that since this is going to be 3D, maybe adding a few little, you know, 3D stickers would be cute. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of these on here while I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to go ahead and warm up. This hot glue gun don't want it. There we go. I'm not going to add too many, maybe just like one or two. And I'm going to make sure it's nice and pressed down. If you wanted to add some hot glue to the back of this to make sure it doesn't pop off, you absolutely could. But I just think these are so cute. And Hobby Lobby has a bunch of these, okay? In so many different styles. Mm. I don't know. Do I want to do two or do I, you know what? I think I just want to do one to be honest. I just like the one. I don't want it to be too much. Okay. So right here, I don't know if y'all, y'all can see it. It's a, like a 3d sticker. Okay. It just gives it a cute little something different. Okay. Something just to kind of make it pop a little bit. Um, but Y'all, I really love this. This is such a cute idea. I really love this. Okay, my hot glue gun should be good to go. Let me see. Hopefully. Mm. Nope, not yet. Let me see. No, not yet. Still waiting on it to warm. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So it's ready now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a small, like, thin layer around the edge. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. I don't want to do too, too much because I don't want it to like, you know, seep out everywhere and get everywhere. I just need a little, just a little bit because I also, you know, I want them to still be able to pull it off too. So just a little bit. And then... I'll put this out the way I'm gonna go ahead and quickly I just have a dollar here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up you put it right on the inside and stick it right on there and y'all I think my hot glue oh no it's fine Honestly, you could roll that up and put it inside there and then put the hot glue on there because some of my hot glue is coming up. It's actually, it didn't, it dried. Let's try that again. I 
I'm gonna roll up the dollar first because waiting for it, the, the glue got too tacky before I put the dollar in there. So it, um, it's not sticking right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the dollar up first and put it in there and then I'm gonna put the glue on. I'm just peeling the, um, the hot glue off off of my little thing here and putting it in the trash. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm gonna roll my dollar up, put it on the inside, and then I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm gonna go ahead and put it around. So as soon as I get the hot glue on there, I can go ahead and just prop it down. Okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and press it down. Super simple. And there is our money card. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so stinking cute. And then the back of it is our blue shiny cardstock. This is very simple to make, very, very easy. The hardest part is gonna be really designing it. Um, but yeah, putting it together is super simple. All right, well, that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Drop a comment down below if you have any video ideas that you would like me to do or try. Don't forget to join my Facebook group. Everything will be linked down below. Um, I will try to remember to link these from Amazon and Michaels, even though, like I said, on Amazon, I do believe that they're sold out at the time that I'm recording this video. They're sold out. Um, but I'll link them anyway, just in case they get them back in stock and you may, you know, look up and be able to grab a few. But that's all I, you can even do these with birthdays. So it doesn't have to be graduation. You can do Father's Day, Mother's Day, birthday. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't have to be a graduation card, but thanks so much for watching guys until next time. Bye.